Hello viewers welcome to AP's postgraduate of the Mojee Pearls today we will talk about the spherical equivalent of toric prescriptions the easiest definition of the spherical equivalent is the spherical lens with the closest overall effect to a given toric lens for example if you take this correction the spherical equivalent will be that spherical lens power that is closest to or an average of this correction so how do we calculate this we need to get rid of the cylinder so we add the sphere and half of the cylindrical power algebraic algebraically so in this case it will be plus 2 plus half of the cylinder that is plus 1.5 to make that plus 3.5 so the spherical equivalent of this refractive correction is plus 3.5 diopters let's take another example in this case to the sphere we add half of the cylinder that is plus 1 which gives us minus 2.5 plus 1 that is minus 1.5 diopters this is the spherical equivalent for this correction one more example to the sphere we add half of minus 2 which is minus 1 to get minus 3.5 minus 1 that is a spherical equivalent of minus 4.5 diopters Sometimes the cylinder may not be divisible into a power that is usually available. In that case, the nearest available correction that is acceptable for the patient is used. For example, if the cylinder is 0.25, it can be ignored. If it is 1.25, you may use either 0.5 or 0.75, and if it is 0.75, either 0.25 or 0.5 may be used to add to the sphere for calculation of the spherical equivalent we can also determine the spherical equivalent from the power cross what is a power cross you know that in regular astigmatism the principal meridians represent the meridians of maximum and minimum power of a toric surface the power cross represents the power of the eye in the form of a cross and shows the refractive power of the eye in the two principal meridians so in this particular example the power in the horizontal meridian is minus 2 diopters and that of the vertical meridian is minus 3 diopters this is represented on the power cross in this manner so how do we convert a sphero cylindrical notation to a power cross take this example make a cross and place the sphere along the axis of the cylinder So since the axis is 180 we will place the spherical power here place the algebraic sum of the sphere and cylinder on the meridian that is 90 degrees away so in this case the algebraic sum of the sphere that is minus 2 and the cylinder that is minus 1 is minus 3 we will place this on the 90 degree meridian we have now made the power cross To calculate the spherical equivalent from the power cross, simply take the average of the powers in the two principal meridians. So the average of minus two and minus three is minus two plus minus three divided by two. This is equal to minus five divided by two. That is minus two point five. So minus two point five is the spherical equivalent. Let us compare this to the spherical equivalent obtained by using the previous formula. To the spherical power. add half of the cylinder cylindrical power so here minus 2 plus minus 0.5 is minus 2.5 so as you can see regardless of which method you use the spherical equivalent is the same so now this definition has become clear there is another definition that is the spherical equivalent is that spherical lens power that places the circle of least diffusion on the retina in other words wearing a spherical equivalent lens converts the effective power of the eye into one of mixed astigmatism so that the circle of least diffusion falls on the retina which gives the clearest possible vision in a case of astigmatism now we come to the uses of spherical equivalent first it tells us whether the eye is essentially myopic hemetropic or hypermetropic This is especially important when choosing monofocal IOLs in certain cases. Next, toric contact lenses are more expensive and more cumbersome for initial fitting trials. So people with low amounts of astigmatism are often prescribed spherical contact lenses or alternately, spherical equivalent lenses may be prescribed for people wishing to wear color contact lenses as these are very difficult to obtain in toric form. you've done the refraction but you would like to reduce the amount of cylinder in the final prescription 
either because this is the first time that you are prescribing a cylinder or the vision is clear with the prescription but the patient is not able to tolerate it you can reduce the cylinder but the spherical equivalent should remain the same to maintain maximum comfort for the patient let us say you want the cylinder to be not more than one diopter since you have reduced by one diopter half of this that is minus 0.5 should be added to the sphere so minus 2 plus minus 0.5 is minus 2.5 of course the axis remains the same the spherical equivalent of both these prescriptions is minus 3 next when prescribing spectacles for the first time for persons over the age of 50 either the cylinder should be totally avoided or it is reduced as the acceptance rate is low the principle shown in the previous example may be used to calculate a trial lens for visual field testing and finally a supply of ready made spectacles with only spherical correction in outreach camps with limited resources may be the best way uh, for patients without high anisometropia and high astigmatism so that's it for today if you like what you saw subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to never miss an update from ap's 5 minute of the moji pearls you may watch my other videos by clicking on the thumbnails please leave a note in the comment section if you wish for any particular topic to be covered in future look forward to weekly updates thank you for watching